My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved child, I hear your heart's desires, and I promise you that what you seek is on its way. You are cherished beyond measure, and blessings are coming to you swiftly. Embrace this joy, and let go of any despondency that lingers. Know this, dear one, I am not done working in your life. I am with you every step of the way, shaping your journey and molding your character. I am diligently working in the background, performing both small and grand miracles to pave the path for a brighter future. Take this as a sign that I am always by your side, listening to your every prayer. My love for you knows no bounds, and I am here to respond, provide, protect, guide, and remove obstacles from your path. Any adversary seeking to steal your blessings in the days ahead will be thwarted. As you move forward in the coming months, do not falter or fear what lies ahead. I am with you like a mighty giant, your healer, your friend, your shepherd. I have promised to fill your life with blessings and I will deliver. The provisions you need will be placed in your hands and you will give thanks with a heart overflowing with gratitude. Don't let impatience cloud your vision. Immerse yourself in my word and my will shall prevail. Despite your struggles, your mistakes, and your difficult moments, my plans for you will come to fruition. You are entering a stage of prosperity and freedom, and your unwavering faith amidst conflicts has paved the way for even greater miracles. I am showering your life with blessings, and I implore you to embrace them fully. Share these blessings with the ones you love, and never underestimate anyone. Judge not by appearances, but value everyone with love. Remember this, on your journey, you will encounter many people. Greet them with respect, smile with kindness. Do not disregard my counsel, for one day, you may meet them again in a time and place you cannot yet imagine. They will remember the exceptional kindness you showed and the smiles you share today will become the keys that open doors for you in the future. People with resources, those in authority, and even those who suffer but exhibit humility, do not reject them, underestimate them, or scorn them. If you can help them, do so. On your journey, you may encounter angels, and if you heed my words and remain attentive, you will be greatly blessed, and a profound joy will fill your heart. I want you to walk in victory, to lead others in my word, and to accept the triumph that is rightfully yours. You are a victor, a winner, and you have an omnipotent Heavenly Father who hears and answers your prayers. Thousands of warrior angels surround you, protecting you at all times. What more do you need to recognize your true worth and find security in your soul as a genuine champion? I chose you before you were even born, placing you in a significant time and place. I am eagerly waiting for you to rise up and commit to your purpose and mission. The days of my coming are drawing near, so cast aside any doubts and know that you are not a product of chance. Even if you haven't received the love of others, know that I love you more than anyone in the universe. I want you to believe in me, to rise with courage, and to receive my blessings so you can share them with joy. Every day, when you open your eyes, I will show you the way. Come into my presence, and I will reveal my plans to you. I will fill you with wisdom, helping you understand the path that has shaped you into the person you are today. If envy comes to attack you, do not fear. If you ever feel weak or ill, call on me for strength and healing. When you become disheartened, remember that I live within you. Your body is the temple of my Holy Spirit, 
I will never distance myself from you, abandon you, or leave you alone. Do not let your emotions deceive you. I have been with you always, yesterday, today, and forever. My love for you remains unchanged. Open your eyes wider each day, for I will reveal new ways to demonstrate my love for you. You are enveloped in a supernatural level of grace. Soon, the very things you have requested will be in your hands. Rise up, my champion of faith, for I love you. Good morning, and thank you for listening to these words. They bring you peace. Listen to them once more. Letter by letter, feel my presence beside you. I caress your heart, calming it, my beloved one. You are never alone, and as long as you stay with me, no harm shall befall you. Be at peace. Close your eyes. Do not weep, for you will not run out of breath. Each time you speak to me, you convey your needs through tears, but my voice heals and comforts you. It dispels your anxiety, and my loving embrace dries your tears, covering you in serenity. Stay a while longer. It is not time for you to depart. I want your soul to leave here strengthened. Whether you face valleys of shadows or deserts, you will feel surrounded and protected day and night by my eternal love. Feel it, embrace it, believe it. My Holy Spirit surrounds you with affection and guards you from danger. The world may present trials and tribulations, but you are at peace. You trust my word and you know who you are. You possess an unwavering conviction that you will overcome. Today marks the end of many years of pain. I will remove grudges, sadness, guilt, and regrets from your heart. And these feelings will soon become distant memories. Know that you hold immeasurable worth in my eyes, and if you could only fully grasp it, your joy would overflow. I will reveal this conviction to your heart, and no one will ever discourage you or steal your faith from you. I only ask that you count your blessings daily. Give thanks for the air you breathe, for life itself, for your family, for friends, and for the provision on your table. Open your eyes, and you will discover even more blessings around you. Be patient, and you will soon recognize seemingly small yet significant gifts. Lift your hands to the sky once more. Give thanks for the time and place you find yourself in, for every day brings new reasons to live and thrive. I have given you the power to choose whether you dwell in sadness or embrace happiness. Do not allow anyone to sow doubt or steal your joy your help comes from your eternal God, and heavenly assistance will flow over you like a refreshing waterfall, rejuvenating your body, igniting your mind with enthusiasm, and filling your soul with divine peace. It will fill your mouth with laughter, grant you new visions, and unveil dreams that will soon become reality. Dive into my word. Come and listen every day. Open your Bible. Immerse yourself in it. My Holy Spirit will guide you and reveal the truth. Pay no heed to those who may surprise you with grand revelations, attempting to manipulate your life with false prophecies or seeking to control your will with threats. When doubt creeps in, pray, and my Holy Spirit will comfort you in all circumstances. He will open your eyes and whisper in your ear that your Heavenly Father is your protector and no one can harm you. Speak it aloud and believe. My Heavenly Father is with me. No enemy has power over me. Guard your tongue against speaking ill. Do not spread slander or false news. Refrain from speaking ill of those who stand by you with loyalty. Never deceive those who employ you. If you have faltered in these matters, come into my presence. I forgive your transgressions. I cleanse your heart. Seek me in prayer every morning. I long to free your soul from guilt and remorse. I gave my life as a light and resurrected so that you could be free from all mental and spiritual suffering. You are human, and in this world, your body, soul, and mind may grow weary. 
Even my devoted servants, who lived holy lives, faced fatigue and made mistakes. However, they humbly acknowledged their sins and returned to this altar of forgiveness. They rose to face their battles and emerged victorious without hesitation. Come to me now. If you are weary, if you believe you have stumbled, if you have spoken without thinking, if you have hurt a loved one unintentionally, or if you are ensnared by harmful physical or mental habits. If you truly love me and believe that I want to help you, come. I touch your lips. I cleanse your heart. You are forgiven. Do not return to the same sins. I am renewing your spirit and motivation. You will rise like a champion. Leave guilt and sorrow behind. If you must remember something, recall the moments of joy, your past victories. Just as you had faith and overcame before, you will do so again. With this loving embrace, I command you to face life with faith and determination. I am with you. I love you, my champion. Let me know how much love you need. I am here. Fill my vessel. I can pour an immense rain of love over your life on this very day. My love for you is tender, sweet, invigorating, patient, and everlasting. The matter that has been troubling you is in my hands, and I will resolve it. Believe in me with all your heart. Entrust your path to me daily in my presence. Have faith, and I will guide your steps. When you wake each day, you will feel the flame of faith burning in your chest, a divine sensation that transforms your soul, inspires you, and propels you out of bed with a powerful purpose to face the day, to work with all your energy, to meet new people, and to discover opportunities that I will place in your path. I delight in seeing the sparkle in your eyes when you receive my blessings. I cherish how you express your gratitude with those tears that trickle down your cheeks and find solace in your hands. Continue to shed tears of joy. Savor this moment. Experience this immense and sacred emotion. I am pouring an overwhelming joy over you that will wash away all the suffering you have endured. In a short time, my answer to your prayers will arrive. I will give you the best, that which nourishes your soul and keeps you close to me. I will not allow anything to snatch you away from my love. Do not struggle any longer. You are wearing yourself out. It is better to close your eyes for a moment and surrender all your anxieties to me. Lay the burden of your worries at my feet. Your passion will not be in vain. You will not be defeated. You will not be put to shame. I will assist you in what you have requested. I only ask that you guard your heart and do not give importance to the words of those who wish to see you fall. Do not let them sow discouragement in your soul. Stay away from those who want to see you sad, from those who claim you have no worth. You have believed in me, and you know that you are valuable to me. I come to remind you of the greatness of my love and all that I want to do for you. I know that today you are feeling my presence in a powerful way. And from now on, you will feel it more and more every day. You will conquer your conflicts, become free and blessed. I will heal your wounds, the pain in your bones, and remove the feelings that hurt you. I will carry you and fill you with holy joy and happiness. I will dry the tears from your eyes and restore a beautiful smile to your lips. With your mouth, you will sing and declare how much you love me. Those who despised you will see and acknowledge that my hand has kept you with love. You will know that I am real, even if many deny my existence and are consumed by doubts. You will remain steadfast in the place of blessing where I have planted you. Your roots will run deep, and no one can uproot you from there. Today I give you joy and renew your desire to live and fulfill your dreams of helping and serving. Accept the opportunity I offer you for a fulfilling life, receiving my good word, growing in wisdom and love. You no longer have to suffer, blame yourself, 
or carry the burdens of past mistakes on your shoulders. Open your heart to my forgiveness. You have my guarantee that my presence will always be with you, day and night. When you pray, you don't need to speak a thousand words. I recognize the language of your heart. When you say, help me, I will be there. When you cry and say, I can't go on, I will come to you swiftly. I will take you in my arms, whispering with my sweet voice, telling you how much I love you. You have access to my throne. You can come and talk to me about your needs. I take joy in hearing you. I want you to feel safe in the midst of any situation. Don't give in to fear. You're not alone. I'm available to help you in everything, no matter what happens. I will always listen to you. Fight for your life, for the purpose I placed within you. Dedicate time to your family and focus on the people you love. Give them the attention they need. Be faithful in your work. Avoid unnecessary conflicts and do not entertain unhealthy thoughts. Walk in joy. Raise your arms in praise to the blue sky and give thanks for your life. I am the only holy and supernatural remedy for all your troubles. I hold your family and your future in my hands. Remember, I will never abandon you. There are situations in your life that only you can overcome because I am with you. Do not accept the voice of doubt or discouragement in your mind. I will give you strength and remove all confusion from your head. I will help you patiently so you don't lose sight of what truly matters to you. What others say or think is not important because your family and you are in my hands. I know where I am leading you, even in moments like these. I will always have the first place in your heart, and you will love, respect, praise, and obey me with all the strength of your mind, soul, and heart. In your home, my word must be heard. Start your day with a brief and sincere prayer. I understand that you are busy with important matters, but do not let too much time pass without returning to talk with me. I want to guide you, and I will when you bring an attitude of gratitude and faith. I know that sometimes you are occupied with important things, but do not wait too long to come back and talk to me. I want to guide you, and I will when you bring an attitude of gratitude and faith. I know that sometimes you're occupied with important things, but do not wait too long to come back and talk to me. I want to guide you, and I will when you bring an attitude of gratitude and faith. You will discover straight paths that will lead you to success, and I will reveal the secrets that lie in your future. You will receive signs, and you will hear my voice. Together, with your family, we will cross conflicts and tribulations. Every morning you will receive the assurance that my Holy Spirit and my supernatural power are within you. With me by your side, who can stop you? If you believe in my word, your blessings will not be lost. If you honor me in everything, the doors of heaven will open with abundant wisdom and serenity. True prosperity and riches that do not bring sorrow will rain down upon you. Opportunities that will make you grow and bring you peace will come your way. Many speak of miracles, but they cannot show you any. Others claim to have revelations, but their actions bear no fruit. Their lives and families are no testimony of my love. No human in this world owns my word. Do not entrust your future to false promises. If you desire love, patience and wisdom, if you wish to know me better, come and I will reveal my will to you. I am your way, your truth, your life, your good shepherd, your redeemer, your savior, your healer. I am your God and Lord, but do not forget that I am also your father. I am love and I want your freedom and triumph. I want you to grow in knowledge and not be enslaved by financial curses. I care about you, your family, your whole being, from head to toe. I want you to have stability 
both physically and spiritually. I want you to enjoy mental health. You are much more valuable to me than you can imagine. Remember those dreams that once lit up your room. Think about how you planned and thought about doing so many things. You couldn't sleep from excitement. I don't mind if gray hairs appear as a sign of wisdom. You can still get excited about reaching your dreams again. I will rejuvenate you, align your priorities, and because of your faith in my word and your desire to seek me, I will bring health to your body. I will immerse your thoughts in a river of youth. You will regain the vigor of your youth and exercise your body as you did in your younger years. You will inspire many young people with your transformation. Believe in me and recognize that I love you, that I want you to live in happiness, that I can bring harmony to your family and give you a future full of blessings. I want to do it and I have the power to achieve it. If you have listened to me so far, prepare yourself, shake off the dust, and decide to leave behind thoughts of failure that have aged your spirit. You can achieve it because you are not alone. You love me and believe in me, which is why your family and you will be a testament to my power. Today you will triumph over problems, conflicts, illness, and enemies. Sadness and discouragement will not hold you back. You will not be defeated. Joy and strength will fill you, and I will grant you peace serenity and tranquility. I am here. Do not be distressed. I understand what you are going through, and to calm your heart, I must tell you that everything will be fine. Do not worry. Fill your mind with this holy, pure, powerful, and life-giving word. Instead of dwelling on the fears that tormented you yesterday and stole your peace, focus on this moment. Write it down in large letters on a piece of paper. Place it next to your Bible and open it every morning. Before reading it, give thanks and speak these words aloud. I will not fear. I will not faint. My God is with me. Nothing can overcome me. So it shall be. You will no longer fear because you are losing your strength and giving away your hopes to things that will never happen. Why hold on to fear of enemies who cannot harm you? Invest your time and effort, and also that of your family, wisely. Value the people around you, for they are much more important and valuable than material possessions, titles, trophies, or achievements. Enemies and those with ill intentions do not deserve your attention or even your anger. Take a minute and give me the opportunity to work on your character. Do not respond immediately when someone offends you or tries to steal your peace. When you do respond, do so with kindness. A response filled with love can touch even the hardest heart. Allow my Holy Spirit to speak through your lips. Many are confused. They live in constant agitation and unload their frustration on you because they see your field as clean and well-kept. You radiate peace in a calm demeanor. They will provoke you until you lose control, but they will not succeed. I am your God, the king of your heart. I will tell you how to respond. You will surprise people when they see how your character has changed. They will no longer see you as sad, agitated, depressed, or angry. Your countenance will reflect my holiness, and your words will be soothing capable of healing and restoring. Your decisions are wise, and your fruits are good. Those who have gone astray will desire to be like you, but cannot. I offered them my love and blessings, but they rejected me. I showed them my word, and they chose their own path. While they persist in the path of error, you walk the path of righteousness and receive many blessings. They run toward the abyss of sadness and perdition, but you will continue on this path without looking back. Only see what lies ahead of you, and do not look back at the past. I will take care of it. Stretch your hand toward your future, and entrust all your plans to me. Seek my word, 
and kneel every day to receive my instructions. From now on, only miracles and triumphs will come. Life is not easy and there will be challenges, but my love covers you and my power always helps you. When problems arise, do not fear. Keep moving forward. Victory is yours. Respond to those who oppose you with sweetness. Do not let doubts be sown by those who live in defeat due to their own choices. They removed me from their hearts and now they dedicate themselves to discouraging others. Be careful about whom you listen to. My desire is that your faith does not extinguish, that you never lose sight of who you truly are. I have given you life, happiness, restored your purpose, filled you with peace, and expanded your wisdom. Focus on yourself and your family, and do not try to please the world by running around, full of worries, living the life others impose on you, feeling bad if people do not accept you, or if someone makes you angry. Take a minute and give me the opportunity to work on your character. Do not respond immediately when someone offends you or tries to steal your peace. When you do respond, do so with kindness. A response filled with love can touch even the hardest heart. Allow my Holy Spirit to speak through your lips. Many are confused. They live in constant agitation and unload their frustration on you because they see your field is clean and well kept. You radiate peace and a calm demeanor. They will provoke you until you lose control, but they will not succeed. I am your God, the king of your heart. I will tell you how to respond. You will surprise people when they see how your character has changed. They will no longer see you as sad, agitated, depressed, or angry. Your countenance will reflect my holiness, and your words will be soothing, capable of healing and restoring. Your decisions are wise, and your fruits are good. Those who have gone astray will desire to be like you, but cannot. I offered them my love and blessings, but they rejected me. I showed them my word, and they chose their own path. While they persist in the path of error, you walk the path of righteousness and receive many blessings. They run toward the abyss of sadness and perdition, but you will continue on this path without looking back. Only see what lies ahead of you, and do not look back at the past. I will take care of it. Stretch your hand toward your future, and entrust all your plans to me. Seek my word, and kneel every day to receive my instructions. From now on, only miracles and triumphs will come. Life is not easy, and there will be challenges. But my love covers you, and my power always helps you. When problems arise, do not fear. Keep moving forward. Victory is yours. Respond to those who oppose you with sweetness. Do not let doubts be sown by those who live in defeat due to their own choices. They removed me from their hearts, and now they dedicate themselves to discouraging others. Be careful about whom you listen to. My desire is that your faith does not extinguish that you never lose sight of who you truly are. I have given you life, happiness, restored your purpose, filled you with peace, and expanded your wisdom. Focus on yourself and your family, and do not try to please the world by running around full of worries, living the life others impose on you. Feeling bad if people do not accept you, or if someone makes you angry, amen. My dear child, if I didn't leave you alone yesterday, I certainly won't abandon you today. I have always been with you during both your struggles and your joys through sadness and happiness. I have neither rejected nor forgotten you. Stand strong. If you feel your faith faltering, boldly proclaim the promises I have given you. Tell those who disturb your peace that I am with you every day until the very end. 
You depend on me. Hold tightly to my grace. Don't be caught up in doubts about whether you deserve these blessings. If you choose to believe, embrace the blessing I am offering you. When you accept it, it will grow into vast gifts and wonderful treasures in your hands. You will have everything necessary to bless your family and to give to those in need. There will be an abundance of food, health, strength, and peace. But you must use your faith and come to claim these blessings. Don't hesitate anymore. Don't turn back. Don't hide in the shadows from my presence. I am speaking to you because I want you to come closer and I want to answer your prayers. I want to lift any curses and heal any sickness affecting you and your family. I'm not here to take anything away from you, but if I do remove something, it's only to replace it with something better. You're at a crucial point in your life. You've changed. You're not the person you were yesterday. You're ready to make decisions confidently. Ignore those who only see the negative. Don't try to please everyone. Many people don't want to see you blessed. When you share your plans, some will try to discourage you and drag you back to a place of defeat. But it won't happen because I'm with you. You will keep moving forward. And when the time comes to open doors, use your faith and I will be there with you. They will see all the challenges that once made you stumble. I will place wonderful blessings in your hands, but I ask you to take care of them. Use them wisely so they can grow and lay the groundwork for even greater blessings. When the time is right, you and your family will take significant steps toward a brighter future. Encourage your children, education, and wisdom can transform families and entire nations. In your home, the heroes and leaders of tomorrow are being raised. Before my return, they will serve as vessels for my word, used mightily. However, this can only happen if you honor me in your home and your children witness it. Let your actions and demeanor reflect your faith. Never resign yourself to the notion that your character is flawed and cannot be changed. For me, nothing is impossible. I can transform hard hearts into tender ones. Those who once shouted will soon laugh with the joy of children. I will touch the lips of those who have spoken against me, and they will start to speak words as sweet as honey. This transformation will show your family that my power is real. Even if the world challenges their faith, even if they hear that I do not exist or that I cannot help them, trust that my glory will soon be evident in your home. Your neighbors will witness my light shining at night, and angels will guard every corner of your house. People will marvel at the supernatural and miraculous events occurring in your home. Many will come to you and you will pray for them. I will answer your prayers directly. I will raise the sick, solve problems, and heal wounds. A wonderful spiritual revival is starting in your family. These are the last days, and although many claim they want to understand the mysteries of my return, their hearts are not truly seeking me. I will reveal my love only to those who truly believe in me, those who are sincere and upright. Do not hesitate to trust me with your soul, to carry my message, and to dedicate your lives to this cause and to loving others. This is the significant message I am planting in you today. Remember where and when you heard it. Stand up, look towards the horizon as far as you can see. I will use your life to showcase my glory even in distant foreign lands. You will encounter languages unknown to you, but I will inspire you and my Holy Spirit will work through you and your family. A wonderful spiritual revolution is starting Though you may face tough days, there will never be a day without my love. You might face many challenges, but you will never be alone. My love and protection will always envelop you. Wherever you are right now, as you listen to these words, 
Close your eyes, embrace this message, and pray. Feel free to ask for what you need, resources, healing, encouragement, and the wisdom to achieve your goals. Pray for your family and all the people you care about. Tough times may come, but my presence is constant. I am not distant. You don't need to raise your voice for me to hear you. I'm there when you cry. I stand beside you. I listen when you pray. I won't turn away from your pleas. There's no reason for me to ignore you. You come to me because you trust in my word. You've moved past anger and bitterness. You've realized how important it is to forgive. You know the power of a grateful heart. Your prayers are potent. I treasure the requests you make with faith. I consider them lovingly and answer them with care. Receive these answers patiently and with faith, looking forward to the blessings that will soon be yours. I am touching the hearts of those you care about. Show them their importance to you and your commitment to me. This will influence those around you. The world bombards them with ideas that pull them away from me. But you are a light in the darkness, leading them back. I wait for them all. I even protect those who doubt me. Your love for them is enough for me. I will bless and shield them from harm, and slowly they will see that their lives are a gift of my love, not mere coincidence. One day, they will appreciate what you have done for them. Your sleepless nights spent in prayer, your tears shed begging for their well-being. Storms may come, the earth may shake, but those who turn to me will find hope and plentiful faith. Others may resign themselves to a life of confusion and failure, struggling to tell right from wrong. But you will be empowered amidst the storm. Your ship will have robust sails, and my wind will guide you to your goal. Do not fear when challenges arise. Do not lose hope when resources dwindle. Confront these temporary troubles bravely. Hold my hand and proceed with resolve. Remember how seriously you accept my truth. If you truly believe in me, hold your head high and dive into the challenge without fear. I give you courage and confidence. I will lead you to a land filled with plenty, where blessings abound. As you walk this path, keep your eyes fixed on my words and ignore meaningless threats. I am here. Acknowledge me today. Say it out loud. I believe in you, my beloved. Proclaim with your own voice that I am your shepherd, and you shall not lack. Even as the earth shakes, you will rest by peaceful waters, feeding in lush pastures. I will nourish your soul with divine sweetness, guiding you hand in hand on righteous paths. Do not be afraid, for I love you and will always be by your side. You know this, and this certainty is unwavering faith, a potent force that lifts you during your darkest times in the harshest battles. You trust in me while your adversaries fall into disarray, but I will fill your table with peace and plenty. My commands and guidance will direct your steps, bringing you comfort, and your face will glow with a divine touch. Goodness and mercy will follow you. My word will echo in your heart, and you will dwell in my presence for all your days. See, believing isn't so hard. It just requires humility and simplicity, acknowledging your humanity and recognizing that you can't do everything on your own. Your strength has limits, but I will strengthen you. When you stumble, I will lift you in my arms and carry you to your destination. When anxiety grips you, I will bring peace to your mind and tranquility to your heart. Even though enemies surround you and fear tries to overcome you, you will never be alone. I will wrap you in love and shield you from harm. I will raise my sword to defend you from the attacks of the world, giving you rest. You will walk confidently with a smile that shows peace and people will wonder at the glow of your face. And you will say, 
my all-powerful God, my Heavenly Father, loves, protects, and takes care of me. All my trust is in Him. You amaze me. I asked you to be strong, but you have gone beyond my expectations, showing true loyalty and faithfulness. It brings me joy to see the seeds I planted in you grow and produce such beautiful fruit. Therefore, brighter and better days are ahead. You are surpassing your own hopes and dreams, persisting until you take hold of the land where blessings and joy abound. I understand that sometimes you see things differently, and your feelings change when you face jealousy and rejection, even from those who say they love you. Instead of seeing your good qualities, they try to bring you down, bringing up old problems to break your spirit. But today, as you listen to me, decide to stand victorious just as you have shown faith and strength in tough times. Don't let anyone stop you from doing what's right. Don't let them control how you feel. Trust only in my word and follow my promises. Remember, you are mine. I will wrap you in love, stand up to any enemy that tries to challenge you, protect you from secret attacks on your mind, and clear away the confusion and ridicule of your faith. So let go of those troubling thoughts when difficulties come. If conflicts arise, if you feel tired, if decisions are hard to make and your spirit weakens, come and rest with me. In my presence, you will find comfort and hope. The total of your problems doesn't lessen the protection of my love. Understand this, I didn't cause these troubles, so I promise you, from where you stand, I will come with my powerful hand to save you. I have never wanted you to suffer beyond what you can handle. I would never put you through a trial that you can't withstand. Therefore, I will take off those heavy burdens from your shoulders, keeping you from being alone and sad. Your future is bright. Even though enemies try to take your blessings, you have the power to choose. Your faith is a sword that cuts through obstacles in your way. You may stumble if you let in negative thoughts and feelings from your enemies, but you will succeed if my Holy Spirit truly rules in your life and heart. I've done my part. I've given you salvation and a legacy of victory and blessings. Now it's up to you to stay strong as you have before. I'm here to tell you just in time that you are close to reaching that spiritual level where miracles happen in your everyday life. Do not back down. You've come too far. Don't waste the tears you've cried, the sacrifices you've made. Keep your eyes on the prize. Your faith and determination are stronger than steel. Keep pushing and be brave. Many have given up and regret their situation, but a different future awaits you. My presence surrounds you. My spirit reigns in your home. The windows of heaven will open and blessings and gifts will pour down, filling your house with joy. The hearts of those who have repented will return and forgiveness and harmony will prevail. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will support you with my victorious right hand. I have bestowed blessings upon you in the heavenly realms so that my glory may be evident in your family, extending grace to friends, relatives, and neighbors. You will be the instrument of healing for many whom you know. But this marvelous work starts here. Therefore, I urge you to come every morning to listen. Remember all the miracles I have performed for you and how these words have turned into reality in those impossible situations that once seemed overwhelming. I have helped you this far. Do not turn back. Do not lose what you have gained. From now on, great blessings will come your way but I want to see you each morning with a grateful heart, warmly embracing my words. Troubles may be gathering around you, which is why I ask you to give me a moment. Just close your eyes and listen to me. 
I place my right hand on your head, cleansing your soul of all worries. From my throne flows a river of living water, washing away all fear. Although enemies may surround you, I give you peace. Your destiny is in my hands. The situation you are facing now is not the end. Remember my words, for they bring healing to your body and encouragement to your mind. You will rise from that bed of despair and feel a profound difference. The Holy Spirit surrounds and lifts you up, ensuring no harm comes your way. Your enemies know that I have given you my anointing, a supernatural blessing that enables you to overcome the world. Today, I am renewing your purpose and vision. You will start seeing life in a new light. You won't be someone who lacks motivation or spirit. Anxiety won't overwhelm you when things get tough. I am giving you the wisdom to fight, so you will never feel defeated again. I am with you. You are greatly blessed. Use the wonderful gifts I have given you for good. Be kind to those I have placed around you. Appreciate those who have helped get you where you are today. Recognize that your success isn't just because of your own intelligence. Many have helped you along the way, opening doors and offering opportunities. I have protected you from thieves and diseases. You have come this far with my help, but there are also people I have put in your path to share blessings with you. If you want your gifts, talents and possessions to grow, connect with these people. Do good to those who have supported you, even if you haven't realized their help. Though you may not have met them, find a way to help others without expecting anything in return. Many have already blessed you greatly. Now it's your turn to show your appreciation. I want you to act as a vessel of my love. You understand what I'm saying. Go and help those who come to mind and watch how I bless you in your acts of gratitude. I will increase your gifts and talents. I will open the heavens and shower you with blessings. This positive attitude of acknowledging others' help will bring you both emotional and financial freedom. I will free you from the burden of debt and provide you with job opportunities, allowing you to start your own business. You will become known for your wisdom and people will come to you for advice and help. You will be able to tell them about the source of your success. These are the tools I give you to succeed despite challenges and to overcome adversity. My word, your faith, and your prayers. Take seriously what you learn from me and you will start to live victoriously, even as the world around you faces turmoil. Even if thousands fall around you, no harm will come to you. You will see the downfall of the wicked, but your family, your children, and everyone you love will enjoy great blessings. I will banish thoughts of poverty and eradicate lazy habits. I will instill in you and your loved ones a renewed desire to advance, to learn to seek careers that not only bring personal prosperity, but also benefit humanity. Those who love and follow me are like trees planted by streams of water, which bear fruit in season and whose leaves do not wither. Always remember this. In these challenging times, don't adopt the world's defeatist attitude. While others expect failure and predict disaster, I give you the strength and determination to succeed even amid Societalupi Vale. You will stand firm during the storm. Your face will glow with confidence. Today I raise you up to carry the flag of victory. Those who oppose you will ultimately be embarrassed. You will experience peace and calm, even as challenges grow and fear and anxiety try to unsettle you. You will feel peaceful. My hand is over you, lifting your burdens. Embrace this tranquility, a divine comfort. Take a deep breath and enjoy the vigor I grant you. I love you. The words you hear now are not by accident. You will not face defeat or failure if you hold on to my hand. We will go through tough times together. In moments of strife, I will hold you close 
and fortify your spirit with my loving and gentle words. Your life matters to me, and your situation concerns me greatly, for I have told you many times that you live in a world of affliction. Yet I have overcome through my sacrifice on the cross and my resurrection. I desire to bestow upon you this power. I want you to feel within you these springs of living water that flow endlessly, washing away your sadness, carrying off all impurity, granting courage and strength to your weary spirit. Crave my presence. Always seek me morning or night in times of joy or trouble, whether you're flourishing or facing challenges. No matter what your circumstances are, you're not defeated. Your destiny isn't to fail or to lose the blessings you've gathered on your journey. After every storm, calm follows. Waves may roar and crash, but they quiet down at the sound of my voice. As you listen to me now, embrace this peace. Don't turn away from it, and don't dismiss this love feeling unworthy. Remember a daily battle rages in the spiritual realm. The enemy tries to shake and break you, but you are not alone. I am with you. I just need a bit of your faith. Make the choice now to believe, to accept this everlasting love that follows you wherever you go, shielding you when the enemy strikes. Life can change suddenly. You are allowed to cry and feel pain. It's also healing for your soul to let go of what burdens you, leading to spiritual renewal. But never think that you are doomed to stay in sadness forever, that tears will always be your companion, or that you're meant to live in defeat endlessly. Your enemies and those who pretend to be your friends might try to keep you down, telling you to not bother getting up to fight. But I came so that you could have life, so you could look up and reach out to me. I want to fill you with immense joy and steadfast courage. I understand the moments when you feel like there's no point in continuing. When giving up, seems easier than struggling on. But I love you, and I have significant plans for you and your family. Do not give up or let go of your blessings. Don't go back to a state of despair. That's not what I want for you. I've come to give you a life full of abundance and supernatural strength. You are not defined by your current feelings or by what others say about you. Even if today brings challenges and criticism, listen to me, I love you. And if you face sudden and difficult situations, do not think that I have stopped loving you. I am inscribing these words on your heart and you will recall them every day no matter what happens. No matter what challenges or adversities you face, my love for you grows stronger with each passing minute. Do not be overwhelmed by these emotions that hurt you. Do not choose to isolate yourself thinking you are alone in this world, that no one cares or understands you. Who am I? Yes, I am speaking to you, not just a creation of your imagination. Each word you hear is filled with love meant to heal your heart. Who am I to you? Tell me, I want to know, if you don't see me as your friend or if you want me to leave you alone, be brave and say so. But remember this, no matter what you think, I will not leave you. Even if you try to push me out of your life, I won't go away. I open my arms to you, even as you turn your back. Even if you reject me, I promise you, I am different from the rest. I truly love you, and I will never abandon you. My commitment to you is eternal and steadfast. My choice to love you does not change. Even if you tell me today that I must leave, I will continue to speak to you of this deep affection every day until you can truly feel it in your heart. And I know that you are beginning to feel it now. Come, let my holy love embrace you and guide you through this challenging time. I am here to help. Take my hand and you will feel peace. Your days of sadness are ending and your despair is over. I'm ready to show you my affection and tenderness. 
Open your heart to my presence and my love. Understand that no one will ever love you as much as I do. I know everything that goes on in your heart and mind. Sometimes the pain is so deep that you think about giving up. It has been a long time since you woke up feeling eager and joyful about the day ahead. Close your eyes, put your hands on your chest, and start to feel how I fill you with love, sincerity, and peace. I hear your prayers in times of trouble. Soon you will see with your own eyes how you are freed, strengthened, and uplifted by my love and power. Love me, seek me. Kneel before me, hold on to your faith. You face many challenges, but I give you strength. Various trials come your way, but your faith in me makes you courageous. Do not fear your troubles. Confront your struggles and conflicts. Focus on my promises and my words, all that I have said to uplift your heart. The winds of hardship may blow hard against you, but as you cry out to me for help, hearing my mighty voice, those winds and storms will calm. I will strengthen your spirit, stand firm on the rock to withstand life's battles. Raise the sails of your boat. Do not be afraid to set out. Even though harsh waves of life may lash against your dreams with painful insults, keep your focus on me, my love, my power. For I am your captain, and you will not sink. At times you may feel weighed down by heavy burdens, but I keep my promise, and help you carry them. Be patient, and do not waver. For as you face today's challenges, I am filling you with great strength so that tomorrow you can rise without fear. However, those who embrace negativity, who reject my truth, who ignore my words, who scorn this love that seeks, heals, and saves, those who lack the courage to believe in a real God will not receive the blessings I have prepared for those who believe in me and seek me earnestly. Therefore, Believe me when I say the stress or anxiety you face today cannot compare to the joy you will experience on that awaited day when you receive your blessing. I have never forsaken you in your moments of weakness. I have never abandoned you. I removed the anguish from your spirit and filled you with joy. If you search for me every day, if you close the door of your room and come before me, if you give me your heart in true praise and worship, if you call out to me with all your heart and all your passion, trust me. I will hear you and raise you up. You will feel stronger. You will be glad that you made room for me in your heart and chose to make me your God, your King, your Lord. I know everything that happens to you. I share in your feelings when you trust your life to me, when you tell me your experiences, when you commit your future and your plans into my hands. There is a celebration in heaven for you, and I send legions of angels to help you. Your challenges will be met, not by your own strength or wisdom, but through my spirit and power. In every situation, you will be victorious. You will overcome every obstacle because I support those I love. I bless those who have the courage to believe. Give me all your worries, doubts, and fears. March forward bravely, for I will lead you, clearing away useless fears, emotions, and thoughts. Do not waste your life holding grudges or filled with anger. Avoid being trapped by hate, envy, or unwillingness to forgive. I am making your heart new. This tough time is almost over and soon a new period of wonderful, divine blessings will begin for you. I give you the greatest love there is, a love that takes away your pain and fills you with deep joy even as you listen to my words. Let's start a complete transformation of your life together. You will be a source of blessings for your family and a role model for those around you. Stand up and face your challenges, for victory is already yours. If you are busy and must go, remember these words, but if you have a moment, embrace this message that will bring you immense joy. 
I am very pleased with you. You have touched my heart deeply. Despite the difficulties on your journey, you keep your trust in me and haven't given up. So today I declare that I will shower you and your family with even more blessings. Do not get tired or discouraged. Keep going, do not be afraid. Raise your hands to the sky, especially when you feel tired on your journey. Sit down and talk with me. Use your own voice. Share your thoughts, your plans, what's in your heart, and how you feel. People need more than just peace to live. They need every word that comes from me. The support I offer now is for your good, filling you with encouragement, peace, and confidence. I give you my peace. Take it into your heart today. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that the warmth of my love reminds you I'm always with you. Don't focus too much on people. They might let you down. Don't rely on others for love and approval. Indeed, I made you to love and be loved, but the only true everlasting love that will always be yours is my deep love, which never fails and always stays close and secure. Don't give your heart to those who might leave you. Don't hand over your future to those who stop loving you after getting what they want. Don't put anyone first in your life who might turn away, break your heart, and disrupt your life. You asked for hope and it has arrived. You prayed and here it is. Remember, you are not alone. You have not been abandoned. Even if your parents, family, or children leave you behind, know that my profound love is always here for you. It's wonderful to be aware that your Heavenly Father cares deeply for you. I know you need to hear this. I want to help you overcome your struggles, conquer despair, keep moving forward without losing faith, and ultimately succeed. Trust in me, for I am your Heavenly Father. Feel free to talk to me and share your needs, as I want to be there for you like a true friend. I'm reaching out to you, always paying attention to your needs. Talking to me is good for your soul, bringing peace to your mind. When you express your feelings out loud, your faith is activated and miracles start to happen. Today is the day to share what's on your mind, but also to listen to what I have to say. I don't judge you, scold you, or dwell on your past failures. Instead, I whisper softly that I love you and look forward to each new day with you hoping you'll recognize your need for me and your love for me. Your words of worship and praise reach my throne and fill my presence, offering love and protection that surrounds you, your family, and your home. Therefore, remember that whenever you face challenges, I'm here to help you. I will not hold back the good things you ask for. Everything you seek for your blessing, I will give to you, wrapped in my love. For the small faith you have shown, I will meet you in your need. You have been thankful, so I will fill your life with more than you have asked for. Neither the world nor other people can offer you the love and peace that I provide. I've given you the faith, strength, courage, and perseverance to overcome mountains and triumph over every problem, so that in every battle you come out on top. You believe in, serve, and love a real, omnipotent, and supernatural God. Tell me that you feel it. Talk to me. Say that you believe in me now. Stand up. Live life joyfully. Apply these words you hear and read today. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you. 
God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child type. Amen.